What is up guys? Welcome back to Dame Untamed, your one-stop shop for all things travel and adventure. This week, we are trekking down to South America and the beautiful country of Ecuador. During my six weeks of traveling through South America back in 2017, I had the absolute privilege of visiting a very special place. The days are very long, the weather can be extremely wet and soggy in the rainforest, and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. There is a lot of poo to pick up, just in case that's something that you didn't know. But the rewards are endless, and the experience is honestly like none other. Typically, the animals brought into Marizonia are confiscated from the wildlife trafficking industry by the Ministry of Environment. Oftentimes, they have been abused, they are not in good health, and they are in desperate need of some tender loving care. is that it has a really strict hands-off policy with most of the animals. Thanks to its devotion to the rehabilitation of wildlife. That is the purpose of this place, to get these animals back into their natural habitats, living a natural life. It's really important that these animals do not become desensitized to human beings. personal favorite resident animal at Marizonia would have to be Whistler the Kinkajou. He unfortunately has certain health complications that inhibit him from being released, but that means that he receives special attention from the staff and volunteers as part of his daily enrichment. case that an animal is too imprinted for release, Marizonia does the best it can to provide this animal with the most comfortable, natural life that it possibly can have on the refuge. Now for the well-being of the animals, Marizonia actually does not accept tourist visits. It also unfortunately does not receive any government funding, so it relies solely and heavily on the volunteer fees and the support from extremely kind donors. <laughs> Typically, the minimum stay at Marizonia is two weeks. However, <laughs> I got really lucky when I went. We didn't have anything booked, but my friend Allie, who I was traveling with, had actually volunteered at Marizonia a few years before, kind of had an in, so I was treated to a really cool condensed volunteer program. The volunteers actually stay in this like giant jungle hut in sort of like a dormitory style. It can house 11 people at once and everyone sleeps in this big room. You just feel very in nature when you're in this cool little jungle hut. There is a fully equipped kitchen on the premises. There are hot showers, but there is no electricity, no phone signal, no internet. 
there is a generator though, and I believe they turned it on a few days a week just to charge up phones, cameras, laptops, that kind of stuff. The volunteers work on a five and a half day schedule with Sunday being a bit of a lighter day on the workload. So you're wondering, what does a typical day look like at Marizonia? Let's have a look. amazing place am i right like how cool all right guys places like marizonia do extremely important work when it comes to animal conservation and they really need our support in order to continue funding their efforts Though my time at Marizonia was unfortunately shorter than I would have liked, it really did leave a lasting impression on my heart. As to all of my experiences, let's be honest. If you are interested in helping Marizonia, which I think you should, please refer down below to the description where I have linked information about volunteering and about how you can donate. Really keep in mind how a place like this has been extremely impacted by the pandemic that's going on right now. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. They really help me out and I really appreciate it. See you guys next time.